excited about the current situation in Burma. Um, a Burma in um, Southeast Asia, that is, um, the uprising that is going on there. Uh, as some of you know, you know, I've been concerned with that situation for some time. Um, my, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, all I wanted to say about this situation going on over there with the uh, continued suppression for many, many years and uh, essentially supported, uh, that regime there is supported by the oil industry, the oil and gas industry um, on a global scale. Um, the only reason why they're staying in power is because of those industries uh, and these industries uh, influence um, their uh, governments and various nations, um, which includes our own nation, uh, the United States, uh, but also uh, China, uh, Russia, um, France, um, Britain, and uh, that is why it's very difficult um, to get any change on the ground over there. So needless to say, these recent developments are very, um, on the one hand, you know, they're very encouraging because people haven't um, had massive protests over there in um, almost 20 years. And it took a lot of courage uh, for these people to go um, and hold public demonstrations on the streets, knowing, knowing within uh, a military dictatorship that they would probably be um, arrested um, at some point, um, detained, um, possibly tortured, or even killed. Um, this is, um, you have to realize the situation over there is so bad that um, um, it takes 20 years for people to come out like this. And it's a major event. Um, then again, you know, the whole thing is now being uh, suppressed. Um, with the um, <clears throat> implicit corporation of, uh, of corporations, international corporations, without which this government could not function over there. And so um, there's a lot of blame and um, it's a very sad situation when after 20 years um, these people take through the streets, you know, and these are very um, um, normal people, just like you and me. They live in a country uh, where they are just trying to make their living and they can't do it because they're continuously being oppressed. They can't, they basically some people don't have enough to eat. They just toil around. Um, they have to do the military's bidding. Um, um, the situation over there is very atrocious uh, and has been for many years. Um, it's nowhere close to um, what you have ever seen here oh, in the United States. But, um, you know, if we don't do something about our own uh, authoritarian uh, tendencies in this country, that's uh, that's basically what our nation is going to look like um, 25 or 30 years from now. So it just goes to show that it's better to um, make a point and stand up um, before the level of suppression uh, gets to that point. I'm not sure what we can do about that situation in Burma now. It's um, the long-term outlook um, is probably uh, not so bad because eventually, um, with this, with these kinds of uprisings, the regime will eventually fall. But that may take uh, another few years and <clears throat> lots of bloodshed in between. What uh, we need to realize here in this country is that uh, when anybody here now speaks against um, the regime in Burma and due to our present um, representation in our own government, uh, it basically holds no um, credibility whatsoever because um, since our own policies are 
becoming more and more authoritarian um, every year. And since our own government has now um, basically sanctioned as official policy um, illegal detentions um, without lawyers, um, uh, torture can be used in certain circumstances depending on who is being um, designated as a, um, an enemy combatant. Um, you know, these are essentially the same policies that Burma is using and or rather the government of Myanmar is using as they call themselves. The, the people of Burma do not recognize that name by the way. So, um, you know, in, in terms of human rights, um, it's basically laughable that the uh, United States government is now opposing um, the policies in Burma because we're starting to institute the, the very same uh, things and practices, uh, practices here in our own country. And um, it's, a, it's a sad day when you start to realize the implications of all of this. It's a sad day. And um, all I can say is, um, you know, once we go down that road, um, like uh, the road in Burma, um, it becomes much more difficult um, for anybody to speak out. I mean, YouTube will basically be a laughing stock um, for most people. And um, as I say, you know, most people have already accepted this here, actually. So um, it's um, when um, when something happens here. Um, people historically, people don't know history. They don't know world history and so they think everything looks, uh, it looks like a democracy when um, it actually isn't anymore. And so, um, short of a major uprising or general strike at this point, we're going to go the same road that Burma is going now. Um, um, you know, it's not going to come overnight. It's and it's going to go peacefully because um, I think most Americans will actually accept it. They will just say, "Oh well, you know, as long as I have my um, um, <coughs> DVD player and uh, YouTube and uh, my computer and um, shows on Survivor and." Uh, you know, the, the various reality shows that are out there, which are actually pretty much unreal, but, um, you know, who, who cares, right? So, um, you know, when dictatorship comes to, when it's finally in its last stages and when it's finally um, instituted, um, probably Americans won't even notice. Um, They'll just go along as usual, um, as long as the gas prices remain relatively low and uh, nobody has uh, too many personal hardships. Um, I think everyone, everyone will probably basically go along with that idea. Um, and history through um, <clears throat> the educational departments and through various propaganda machines on uh, through the various media will basically be slanted in that direction. And so we will become um, basically like the, um, the peasants of Burma who, um, for the most part, know nothing about international news other than what they see on TV in their little um, huts, um, if, they do have, if they do happen to have electricity. Um, you know, just, uh, just some thoughts for today. Um, keep it in mind because um, it's all creeping in and um, most people don't realize how far it's already gone. Thanks.